What is the real difference between a five wood and a hybrid? And which one would suit your game? Let's find out. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and on this channel I bring you guys golf related content every single day that helps you raise your game, lower your handicap, but hopefully just gets you enjoying golf a ton more. In today's video I am testing a hybrid against a 5 wood and we're going to see exactly what the differences are, exactly what the similarities are and exactly which one would hopefully improve your golf game. Now I have the Callaway Epic Flash Hybrid and I also have the Callaway Epic Flash 5 wood. Both of these clubs are 18 degrees loft, both of them have loft adjustments, both of them have flash face, and it's got to be said, both of them look pretty good. Now you may have seen a few videos I've done already on this Callaway Epic Flash Hybrid, it's not been out that long, and I have worked it into quite a lot of content, and to be honest, it's growing on me massively. The forgiveness of it just feels fantastic, and looking down at it with its carbon crown, it looks awesome. Now let's start with some similarities between these clubs. Like I said, they've both got flash face, they've both got carbon crowns, they're both 18 degrees loft, and they both have the OptiFit adjustment system. They also both have jailbreak. Technology-wise, they are pretty well matched. But what about performance? What about looks? What about visuals? You see, if you're kind of an old school golfer, you've never really had a hybrid, hybrids weren't around when you started playing, hybrids weren't around. Let's be fair, hybrids haven't been around for that long, have they? But I grew up with them, I've used them for quite a while. The first hybrid I remember was the TaylorMade, what was it now? Was it just a TaylorMade TP Rescue? It was the TaylorMade Rescue, wasn't it? Who remembers the good old TaylorMade Rescue? unbelievable. So you see I'm not expecting to see a huge difference in distance for these clubs. I'm not expecting to see one go 260, one go 230 because they're both the same loft, they're both the same strength, they're both, I mean let's be fair the 5 wood is a little bit longer in shaft and the 5 wood also obviously has a bigger head so that's what it's got going for it. For me would the 5 wood be more forgiving because of the size of the head because the CG is further back but then you've got the longer shaft so it's a little bit harder to control so then the hybrid should be easier to control. I guess it entirely depends on when you are expecting to use this club. Are you expecting to use it off the tee? Are you expecting to use it off the fairway? Are you expecting to use it quite a lot out of the rough? Are you not expecting to use it that much? Do you carry a 3 wood? Do you carry a 3 iron? Do you carry a 5 iron? I don't know where the five iron comes into it, but I was rolling, so. I know some guys who absolutely love five woods. Their go-to club off the tee is a five wood. If the driver's not working, they skip the three wood, go straight to the five wood, and they can pretty much guarantee they are gonna hit a fairway out there around 220, 230, maybe even 240 yards. Remember, I want you to hit those comments below. Are you a hybrid kind of person? Are you a five wood kind of person? Or do you still just dig a long iron? When I try and hit a long iron, that's exactly what I generally do, dig. That felt unbelievable. So good. How am I not gaming a fiver in my bag? Ah, that's why. Well, that's but you see, personally there, I do think I make a valid point in that since the introduction of hybrids, since long irons have become a little bit more scarce, five woods have suffered. You don't see five woods in that many people's bags anymore, do you? I think some of the top tour pros still use them. Tiger still loves a five wood. Rory still uses a five wood. But in amateurs' bags, in club golfers' bags, very rarely do I see a five wood. Used to be the case, everyone had matching driver, matching three wood, then matching five wood, but now you don't see that. You might see matching driver, you might see matching three wood, but then generally people go straight into the hybrids, then into the irons, then wedges, then putter. So I'm going to be really interested here to not only see how far these go, I do think they are going to be quite similar, but see how high they go, see how much they spin, and then from there see how they both perform, and which one I would prefer in my golf bag. I do think if you were deciding which club to put in your bag, you would have to do a test in here, you would have to see how they perform, how they launch, 
launch, how they spin. But then I do think it's imperative you take them out on the golf course, you try them out the rough, you try them off the tee, you see how they cope in wind, which one goes too high, which one doesn't go high enough. For me, if you're gonna be a player that's playing a lot out of the rough, I would personally say that a hybrid is just designed to kind of muscle its way through that rough a little bit easier than a five wood, which at times can be a little bit clumsy, especially out of thick rough. And let me tell you, that is one expert opinion you can rely on, because I've found some thick rough in my time. coming in with the five wood. Left. You see, as you can probably see with some of those ball flights, I've really enjoyed hitting this big high fades, because for me, that's exactly what you're gonna try and hit with a five wood. You're gonna try and get it to go nice and high, land nice and soft. It, really, for me, this is a club I'd be using on some par fives, maybe even some long par fours. Try and get the ball close to the pin, try and get it on the green, and like I said, try to get it to land soft. The last thing you want is that low pull knuckle ball that goes 20 yards further, sailing into the hazard, sailing into the bunker, sailing into the trees, and then you're struggling, really, aren't you? There's no other word for it, really. Okay, let's hit a couple more shots with the hybrid, then we've hit 10 shots with each. Let's take a look at the launch factors, let's take a look at the distances, let's take a look at everything, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion as to what, well, what I use, and hopefully help you with what you should use. See now that felt a little bit pulley, it felt like the bad five wood shot, but it still stayed fairly central. It's tried to fade back, it's on the left hand side of the green, maybe in the left green side bunker, but it's not in the clubhouse, so that's always a positive. Ten shots with a Callaway Epic Flash Hybrid, ten shots with a Callaway Epic Flash 5 wood. Both the same loft, both the same technology. As I said, the only real difference is that the 5 wood offers quite a longer shaft and obviously gives you a bigger head. But apart from that, these clubs are designed to do a very similar sort of maybe kind of fill the same void in the bag is what I'll say because they're designed to do totally different things. But how different are they? Let's find out. We've already said that, haven't we? Let's just have a look. So as always, I'm going to be totally and utterly blunt and honest with you with these findings. Three hybrid, quite happy with those really. I mean, you think if you put a green out there at what, what was that last one, 230 yards, I'm going to be quite happy with that. That's, yeah, a couple of them have missed right, maybe two of them have missed left, but apart from that, nice big high fades, they're going to be landing fairly softly and you're going to be happy with them. What about the five wood? Now again, I mean, this, for me, you look at that and probably seven or eight of them out of the ten you're going to be happy with they're going to be on the green maybe on the left side of the green and then just a couple there those pulls and they're they're the ones that worry me because they go so far as well i mean look how far that one's gone it's gone absolutely miles into the trees or the water or even the clubhouse so let's take a look at the numbers and see how differently they perform so first of all the five wood now fairly consistent really a couple of high numbers which were pulls 233, 238, 233, 242, 248, again a little bit of a pull, that's, I mean it's going to happen isn't it, that's just golf, if you pull it it's going to go further, 229, bit heavy, 237, 246, 242, 243, so an average distance there of 239, could be a tiny bit misleading because I've pulled a couple of them, and what's happening with the spin, Spin, 5,036, 4, 4, So spin fluctuating quite a lot, giving me an average of 4,000, which is maybe a little bit high, but not too bad at all for a five, but I'm gonna take that in fairness. And a big factor in this, which is gonna be the height. Again, all around that kind of 250, a couple, I mean, that low one there, that, that's hitting hopefully a trunk of the tree and coming back in play. Averaging 145 feet peak height. Now, interestingly, we are going to compare these. The hybrid, I had a couple of awful swings. First swing, fatted it, chunked it, 206. There was another one in there, 181, just awful golf swing. So, I mean, take that what you will. I don't think that's the club. That obviously is just down to me, but maybe it's the aesthetics of the club. Maybe I'm trying to do something different that I shouldn't try and do and just not getting the strike, really. So, I'll show you the averages anyway. 225 yards. So, that is obviously kind of... Is it 10 yards down on the 
five wood, 14 yards down on the five wood. But what I am going to do for this is take out those horrible chunky shots because that's just throwing the averages and I think it probably is just down to me. So we take those out and we're at 232. So it's still shorter, it's still quite a little bit shorter. The average spin is 38, so it's spinning less than the five wood. I'm going to guess it's probably going lower than the five wood as well. Yeah, average peak height 125 feet as opposed to 100 and as average peak height 125 feet as opposed to 145 feet. So you see there guys, take those results as you will. If you want to look at them with the bad hybrid shots in there, by all means look at them. If you want to look at them where I take the bad swings out, by all means do that. I didn't really make that many bad swings with the five wood. I pulled a couple, like I said, but there weren't bad strikes. Apart from that, I have struck kind of 16, 17 really good, well-struck shots there. So, and again, I don't make these videos to help stroke my ego. That's why I leave the bad shots in. I show them you. And I want you to decide for yourself what you think about those miss hits, what you think about the shots in general. The five wood goes higher, it spins more, it also goes a little bit further. So if you're looking for a club for off the fairway that's gonna land nice and soft, you hit a lot of fairways, maybe you've got a couple of par fives at your home course that you know you could hit and you're good off the tee, you're straight off the tee, then a five wood is potentially gonna be good for you all day. Maybe you know that there's a couple of par threes that are at a set distance, you know it needs to go high, you know it needs to land soft. Again, the five wood would probably be there for you. If you're like me and you do miss a lot of fairways, you like to play some low shots, you like to be a little bit more in control of the ball flight. For me there, I think the hybrid is a better choice. I can hit a hybrid out of the rough. It's not gonna go 230 yards on average, but it is still gonna get out there. I personally think a five wood is a little bit chunky out of the rough and I've never had much success with trying that. So hit those comments below. Are you using a hybrid? Are you using a five wood? Are you now using a driving iron? Let me know guys, I am mega interested. What do you think to results? And guys, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me that you do watch these videos. I do hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoy making them. Leave us a like if you did enjoy that video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I don't know why you wouldn't. And apart from that guys, as always, See you tomorrow.